Play number 10, clutch shooting at the end of the contest at Oklahoma. Kim English buries a three to put Missouri up by five. I feel fine to me. It was more important than me making a shot. Me making a shot was just, 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 just repetition, and I was just blessed that it, it happened to go in. Butter, straight butter. Pressing right side of the key, splits the defense. Number nine, Mizzou's man in the middle, Steve Moore, with a reverse dunk against Kennesaw State. But Moore shares the play with himself. His dunk against Baylor also draws rave reviews. I don't know if he was passing to Steve or Mike, because Mike was in the fold with his hands ready. And Steve was just lumbering down the court because he lumbers. He flushed it and Missouri goes up. English outlet to Dixon, one player back. Play number eight, obviously great. Michael Dixon to Marcus Denman, the alley-oop against Northwestern State. And I seen Mike on the right side, and uh, we kind of made eye contact. I told him to throw it up, and uh, the dude tried to jump, and he, like, grabbed my arm, but I still finished it, so I got the end one. Denman jams it and got fouled. Play number seven came in the border battle. In a tie game with one and a half minute left, Kimmy English had the and one to put the Tigers on top. And Mike finally got in his guy. He pressured the ball and he deflected it. And Ricardo got it and got it to Mike and then Mike passed it ahead to me. I was the least, the least important part of that play. Play six is all about number one's passing. Phil Pressey is a master of the no look to Ricardo Ratliff against Villanova. How pretty is that? Iowa State and Kansas State. Just a few of his gems. Play number five belongs to Michael Dixon. At the end of the game against Kansas, he drew the charge on Tyshawn Taylor. In the clutch, and once again, Mike Dixon just being a smart player that he is and just giving his body up for his team. Play four is a high flying follow. Matt Pressey with the put back dunk against Illinois. Only problem, he didn't stick to landing. I seen Matt come out of nowhere in front of me, and uh, he caught and slammed. He was yelling, he was real imps. Matt's like, uh, an old man in a young man's body. So he just explodes, he explodes, and it just surprises everybody. Matt's brother Phil upstaged him for play number three. Against Binghamton, Phil knocks the ball away, then throws it over his head into the hands of Ricardo Ratliff, who finished in style. Like someone dropping a loaf of bread in a basket. It just dropped in Ricardo's hand. He said he didn't know exactly where I was, but he just decided to throw it to our basket because he figured that I'd be down there. Let's talk about this. Play number two is the biggest two points of the game at Texas. With just seconds left, Michael Dixon hits the layup to give Mizzou the one point win. That was the play that won the game for us. So, I mean, even though it was just a layup, it, it was a tough one. It was left-handed and it was really high. Play number one isn't a play, but a series of shots by Marcus Denman against Kansas. He scores nine straight points in 68 seconds to turn an eight-point deficit into a one-point lead. All nine of those were huge. Um, the three in front of the bench was the biggest. It's not something you see every day, so it's a really big highlight for our team. Coach Haith probably has the top 10 plays because he draws, he draws the stuff up. I never totally agree with your top 10 highlights, but I, I'm, not a, I'm not the person to go find them, so obviously you're doing a good job because I don't even remember the game. <laughs>